Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is PJ. You're watching PJ Cooper the Model Builder, and uh, I've got the IXO Porsche. Love this build. Truly love this build. Such a nice car. Color colorways are beautiful, and uh, I'll put some pictures up here and there so you can uh, see what I mean with all the color. Um, IXO's just brought this in, uh, or at least the postman just brought this in, and. Uh, I was eager to go upstairs and uh, build this so um, let's just do it let's just start building this and uh, hope you like it check out my other builds I've got quite a few uh, two of IXO I've got some from Agora models I've got some from uh, model space I've got some from Eagle Moss and I've got some from D'Agostini so I've, I've got a whole lot of uh, people the only thing I cannot get and I would love to but it's not possible Hachette and uh, Altaya, or what their name is in France. But without further ado, let's just go and do some building. So here we are, issue number nine. These are plastic parts, this is metal. Brought the screws in, brought those in, and brought the engine in that we built thus far. So we've got number D9, and we're gonna put that there. There are some notches left out there, so you know which one has to go where and how it fits together. So we're going to get the screwdriver out, and this is most probably the EP screw, because it is into plastico. I to push that together properly. Now we're going to do the other part. And this also, no. There are notches there and lugs here. So this is how you put them together. Have a look at the size of the lugs. Oh, uh, sorry, the, yeah. So you know how to position them. We're gonna put the screws in and we'll push them down later. Right now, I mean. So this is what we have. And the next thing we are going to do is this. There are quite a few of these there. And we have some spares so be careful and as we got this lovely present from them use it and let's see how good it is we need 12 of them we can leave six of them so I've got 12 of them here let's see how far we get and let's put that away we've got a beautiful cover for it so use it then we've got two sides you see and that is the side that is sticking out and that is the side that's going in with the tweezers it's the easiest thing to do as you see right there it's in so we're gonna do it with all of them and we come back to you so when we're done, that is what we have. Then we're gonna get those panels out. And if we put them in, make sure that the sides with the rivets in are showing outside. There are some lugs there, right in there now. We can put four of those on. They were they were from the, the previous stage, stage, of course. Remember that we've got two of them in already. They're in. Then we're gonna bring the two together. And do that in a way that <coughs> Oh, there you go. Okay. And we're going to put the IMs in. Put a tiny bit of oil on the top. Then we screw that in there. Thank you. 
we've got that ready we can leave that there and then we can put the other one in so I pushed it in properly these are loose in there but they're they're, they're not going to be moving out they're done in properly only thing we can do at the moment still is put that pipe in and as you see it comes loose but that's no problem that's how you do it so that is the engine that we have at the moment we've got some spare of those little spark plugs or whatever they are and that is stage 9 done and we're going to do more on the engine in stage 10 so we're going to put the engine to the side we're going to leave the screws and see what we have in stage 10 we, these are the parts and we are going to put some stuff together I'm going to put the magazine slightly closer. Let's just put that EP in straight away. So it's stuck in there. So this is the EP. Then we put that on. And we put that on. And we get the DP in. As you see, this is slightly this is handier than the way we did it before. So advise you to do it this way. Put that one in, put the screw in, put those two in, put the screw in. So these are made. We're gonna get that out. And we're going to keep the screwdriver here we're going to put those rings on we're going to put them together like that right on this part that we had here which is part number 10a and we are going to put a km on it and as it's m we put a little oil on it and just on the tip nothing else then we've got those two in one will be fixed right there and the other one right there you can see a screw hole and a pin and that pin goes into that little hole there and the screw comes through there so that is that done well we put those on then that was in my big box right there I think I think that's the proper position that's too far away so it must be that one yes it is so we put that there we have a check AP screw that's this one did a bit more nope twist so we put it back and the proper orientation yep okay we're going to get the engine out we're going to put that on that way. Like so. And we're going to put screws in from this side. Two BM screws right there and there. It's neatly closed right there, but it's, it's, there's a massive gap on this side. Maybe when this side goes in, it will it will be pushed up. I hope, I truly hope so, because it's neatly in on this side. Okay, that is what we have at the end of stage 10. These parts and some leftovers from others. So we're going to put those aside. I believe the engine right there. Look at that, guys. Wonderful. So this is stage number let's put that way stage number 11 plastic metal and IM and JM screws to put in and we're having a look around we've done that 
Let's just start with the easy thing. Push them together properly. You're pushing the metal into plastic, so that should fix just fine. I'm going a little bit quicker, but as easy as I'm pushing with my fingers anyway. Let's get that ready. Then we're going to get out. There's so many sides to this thing. That little thing has to go into that little thing there. And the same thing on this one. And then we're going to put IMs on this side. And these are the IMs. And remember, M is oil. We'll put that one aside. We're going to start with this one. I can't remember how I did it last time, but it doesn't seem to work now. There you go. Then that is the little thing that goes in between. I don't know what that is, but we I will show you in the picture and I will put the name in there as well. Okay, we're gonna put those two together. And let's see if what happens when we put those together. Well, I can't do anything about it anymore. <laughs> I'm dunking two JM screws in there. I did not put any oil on the tip, that's not too smart, but there you go. Now this is neat, but there's still a gap there. We're not going to see just stuff going over it, so uh, I'm going to leave it. And uh, that is stage number 11 done. Number 12, as you can see, we're getting that one out, and uh, we're getting the one out with it. Okay, have a look. We've got two different ones, but one have the um, rivets on it, or screws, or whatever you want to name it. We're going to put it on like that, so with the rivets on the outside, and we're going to put it DP in there. We're going to get that in. with those little things right here to keep them in position and then we put two APs in don't over tighten it, it's plastic, you don't want to ruin it now let's see if these parts are exactly the same they seem to be like that, fits in like a glove have a look how it's orientated then we're going to get that part out like that we're going to push that thing in no screws needed just yet have a look at that orientation again this is the lug so this is how we want to get it the other lug is right there the pins are right there so we push them together Make sure you orientate them properly. We put this on and have a look at how it's orientated. There's a little part missing in that thing. It's and it's here as well. This is where it's sticking out, that's where it's taken out. And it's an AP. I can screw that in a little bit more, but I don't want to overdo it. Part that we're putting on now is on a slight angle that's not a problem and we're putting those silver JPs on them this one goes on this side push it all together properly and on this side, we have that one left over to do. There's a 
orientation lug you cannot put it in other than any other way there you go that's that whole thing put together and we're now going to put it onto that little thing right there with the cog to the side and then we're going to put a piece in and we're going to put that little thing on right there in the moment don't over tighten it it's plastic and you don't want to lose the threads to keep the screws in so we're putting that on like so and we're using the DP for that yep there you go we've got this little thing here we can put that over the two and put it on properly push it on to there you go you, I want it on neatly like so there you go that's that part put together well the only thing we are going to do is get those all out there's six of them in total 12 and we are going to put them push them in like we did earlier let's just get them off where's this bro got it okay and now uh, all these little ones are going to those little holes there one by one and as you see there it's pretty good to put them together easy to put them in There we go, right there. All these tools we use to get it all together. As you can see in neatly, all these little things in there. Oh, well, as you can see, that was the last one. And all these parts were, are not being used. Well, 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 that doesn't matter. It will be put on somewhere, some, somehow, <laughs> later on. Most probably on the, on, on the, as that part, Ray up there. But that is for the next stage, next month. And uh, it's time for me to uh, stand up and be counted. No, sorry. All these stupid jokes I make. That's that, and uh, it's all put together. Uh, I've just got it in uh, two hours ago, and it's already done. <laughs> We've got this lovely sprue cutter with a cap, so we can't cut ourselves, or it cannot be uh, buried in some way. Or uh, uh, so we've got it all together. Uh, it's a pretty large engine, by pretty heavy. Yes, is there anything? No, that's done. It's it's done, guys. I don't know how long did it take us. One thirteen, so uh, probably can get that down to twenty five minutes because there's a lot of rubbish in between my stupid talking and all that screwing in uh, screws, which I don't like to show you or I find ridiculous to show you. But uh, this is my IXO Porsche nine one nine one seven KH, and uh, please have a look at it and. Uh, I've got a plethora, is it the right word? A plethora of different uh, models I built. Have a look at my channel, PJ Cooper, the model builder, and uh, look at uh, some of my other builds. They're great. They're, uh, I loved doing this, and I uh, hope it shows. Okay, you guys. Uh, uh, what did we have? Yes, 9, 10, 11, and 12 of the IXO Porsche 917KH. And uh, I'm looking at the, the 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 iPad above it. I should be looking at the camera. So I 
I'm looking at you. Well, um, thank you very much for watching again. Thank you very much for sticking it uh, all the way to the end. And uh, as I said, have a look at my other builds. I've got quite a few. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope to see you next time. Like, subscribe, and pass it on. And uh, see you next time. Thank you very much. And bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>